On Life in the Park this week, SWLRT moves a step closer. It's time for State of the City, and it's tea time in the park. Plus much more on Life in the Park. Welcome to this week's edition of Life in the Park. I'm Scott Smith. In this week's cover story, Park TV's John McHugh takes a spot of tea at the Girl Scout International Tea. That's coming up. But first, here's the latest news and events in the park. President Obama has proposed $125 million for the Southwest Light Rail Transit Line in his 2017 budget recommendation. Metropolitan Council Chair Adam Duenick says this is a remarkable development for the Southwest LRT project. The president's budget demonstrates the federal government's belief in the strong merits of this project. This puts us in an excellent position to achieve our federal matching dollars, which we will apply for later this year. Last year, the president included $150 million in his 2016 fiscal budget. That was the first installment of the anticipated 50% federal share for the estimated $1.79 billion project. Southwest LRT is on the Federal Transit Administration's short list of new starts projects in line to receive a full funding grant agreement in 2017. With the total commitments from the county's Transit Improvement Board and Hennepin County Regional Railroad Authority and earlier funding from the state, the project has 83% of its local funding, totaling $745 million. The council will work closely with Governor Mark Dayton and the state legislature to secure the remaining $135 million during the 2016 session. The City of St. Louis Park is currently seeking interested residents to serve on the Charter Commission. The commission is comprised of 15 volunteer members appointed by a Hennepin County District Court Chief Judge. The mission of the commission is to evaluate and propose changes which may be warranted in the City Home Rule Charter as provided by state statute. The commission also monitors legislative activities on an ongoing basis. Interested individuals should submit a completed application by March 11, 2016 to City of St. Louis Park City Clerk's Office 5005 Minnetonka Boulevard, St. Louis Park, Minnesota 55416. For further information or to request an application, please contact the City Clerk's Office at 952-928-2840 or visit the City's website at stlouispark.org slash boards-commissions.html. Application deadline is March 11th this year. Well, congratulations to the St. Louis Park High School organization Students Organizing Against Racism, or SOAR, for winning the 2015 Human Rights Award. This recognizes individuals, groups, organizations, or businesses that have made an outstanding contribution toward increasing understanding and cooperation between people of different backgrounds in St. Louis Park. The Human Rights Commission was thrilled to recognize this excellent group of students. SOAR benefits everyone in St. Louis Park by fostering a space for de deepening an understanding of the role of race and racism in the city while also developing skills of organizing and action. The organization was honored at the Tuesday, February 16th City Council meeting. And we are, and so you, you all really deserve this award. So this is the Human Rights Award awarded to students organizing against racism. Congratulations to all of you. The City of St. Louis Park and the Twin West Chamber of Commerce present the 2016 State of the City. That's on Monday, February 29th, 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at Steel Toe Brewing, 4848 West 35th Street in the park. The presentation from Mayor Jake Spano will take place from 5 to 6 p.m. Anyone with an interest in hearing more about St. Louis Park's direction for 2016 is invited to attend. Light refreshments will be available and attendees may also purchase Steel Toe's craft beer. Later that evening, there will be a special City Council meeting at 7 p.m. in Council Chambers at City Hall. The public hearing includes the 2016 Pavement Management Program, Connect the Park Construction Project, and the proposed outdoor ice sheet at the Rec Center. Well, from a small seed, a mighty trunk may grow, is the theme of the 5th Annual Children First Champions Breakfast, which will feature people who are giving back to the community where they grew up. The event will be held Thursday, March 3rd, 7 to 8, 15 a.m. at the Double Tree by Hilton Minneapolis Park Place, 1500 Park Place Boulevard in St. Louis Park. New York Times columnist and author Thomas L. Friedman will appear in a video he taped for the breakfast talking about his roots in the community. 
The event will also feature a moving message from Joe Cavanaugh, founder and CEO of St. Louis Park-based Youth Frontiers. The Champions Breakfast is Children's First Annual Gathering of 300 top community leaders, volunteers and residents who are committed to the healthy development of St. Louis Park's young people. The breakfast is free to attend and a fundraising event. Attendees will be asked to consider a donation. Reservations are required and can be made at childrenfirst.org. The city has several employment opportunities right now, including a television production assistant. You will be responsible for production and operation assistance for the city's park TV on location TV operations and provide quality customer service and communications. The position has variable hours, approximately 10 to 25 hours per week. You must be punctual and be available to work evenings and weekends. Salary is $10.71 to $16 per hour. Deadline to apply is March 3rd. You may view the full job description, apply online, and check out all the city employment opportunities at stlouispark.org slash employment.html. Well, hopefully spring is just around the corner and the city of St. Louis Park is once again offering trees for sale at discounted prices beginning March 1st. Each resident may purchase up to three trees for just $35 each. Trees are ordered through the city's program partner, Tree Trust, and will be offered while supplies last on a first-come, first-served basis for St. Louis Park property owners only. You can select between nine different tree varieties this year. For more detailed information, go to treetrust.org slash getatree slash SLP tree sale. The City of St. Louis Park is in need of election judges for the upcoming 2016 election cycle. Election judges ensure that the voting process in each precinct is smooth and accurate. St. Louis Park's 16 polling locations are staffed by citizens who are appointed as election judges. This is a paid opportunity and training is provided. For more information, contact Kay Madura at 952-924-2505 or kmadura at stlouispark.org. Bookmark in the Park will host the second annual Writer's Riot at Granite City Food and Brewery at 7.30 p.m. Thursday, March 3rd. This free author event is loosely inspired by National Public Radio's quiz and information programs. The host will be former St. Louis Park Mayor Jeff Jacobs, a founding member and longtime supporter of Bookmark in the Park. The authors are Nancy Carlson, Jim Evavold, Aaron Hart, and David Housewright. Each author will answer some lighthearted, ice-breaking questions and have a few minutes to read from one of their books. The audience will also be encouraged to ask questions. The Recycling Association of Minnesota, or RAM, has partnered with the City of St. Louis Park to provide rain barrels, compost bins, and kitchen compost pails at discounted prices to the public throughout the spring of 2016. Online ordering begins March 1st. You must pre-order online through the RAM website, RecycleMinnesota.org. For questions about products and prices, call RAM at 651-641-4589 or visit their uh, website, RecycleMinnesota.org. Well, mark your calendar and save your appetite. Steph's annual Empty Bowls event will be held at Westwood Lutheran Church on Thursday, March 10th. The event is an opportunity for all ages in the community to come together and support efforts to eliminate hunger in St. Louis Park. Community members of all ages are invited to join together for a simple meal of soup and bread provided by local restaurants for lunch or for dinner. The event will include music, entertainment, children's activities, and more. Now, here's this week's Rec Minute. Hi, I'm Lisa Abernathy with your Rec Minute. Keep your commitment to staying active alive through one of our adult fitness classes held in Wolf Park. Get your groove on on cardio dance and toning or work on that target heart rate and cardio circuit strength training. Instructor Judy Coughlin is a certified personal trainer who will work with you on maximizing your fitness within your own comfort level. All abilities are welcome. Spring sessions will run for five weeks, bringing us right into summer. For dates, times, and more information about each class, visit stlouispark.org. Get out and get active in the park today. In this week's cover story, TV's John McHugh takes a spot of tea at the annual Girl Scout International Tea, which took place at the St. Louis Park Middle School last weekend. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country and help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. 
My name's Sophie. I am a cadet from Troop 14177. February 22nd was World Thinking Day, an international day of the Girl Scouts, Girl Guides and Girl Scouts from all around the world. On this day, Girl Guides and Girl Scouts gather together to share what they have learned about youth in other countries of the world. A time to think about all their sisters in the world of Girl Scout Guides and Girl Scouts. Group 16193 from Vietnam is serving bread rice. Troop 13729 from Puerto Rico is serving arroz. Troop 15024 from Australia is serving tin tin. This year's Girl Scout International Tea represents 11 different countries from around the world. Each troop created a display representing their country and had samples of their local cuisine that guests could taste as they traveled from country to country asking the scouts questions about the particular country they represent. Thanks to John McHugh for this week's cover story. Remember, you can keep up to date in the park by visiting our Facebook page at facebook.com slash St. Louis Park or check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash St. Louis Park. So that's it for this week's edition of Life in the Park. Thank you for watching. Join us next week for another edition of Life in the Park right here on Park TV.